Top 10 Suspenseful Thriller Movies on Netflix. Time for some action? These exciting films keep the pace up and the pulse pounding with suspense, sci-fi, gangster and crime stories, martial arts movies, and more. Popular on Netflix. Hey guys, welcome to your entertainment channel, Netflix Top, where we tell you about the top rated movies and series on Netflix. So grab your popcorn and stay with us until the end of this video, because today's video is going to list down the top 10 suspenseful thriller movies on Netflix. So let's get started. Number 10, Interceptor. In director Matt Riley's Interceptor, Elsa Pataki stars as Captain J.J. Collins, the spearhead of an isolated nuclear missile facility smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. When the weapons hub falls under attack from enemy forces led by a former U.S. intelligence operative, Luke Bracey, Collins must use her military background and quick ingenuity to thwart the evildoers before they overrun the base. Interceptor is a decent example of a Netflix-backed action thriller, driven by a kinetic pace that hits all the beats but misses here and there. A refreshing change of pace is seeing a woman in a role that would normally be helmed by Bruce Willis, and Pataki tackles her heroine character with muscle and grace. Number 9. Munich, The Edge of War Based on the 2017 Robert Harris novel Munich, Munich, The Edge of War stars Jeremy Irons, Greg McKay, and Janice Nierwarner, among other players. Directed by Christian Skowachow, the story follows Hugh Legat and Paul von Hartmann, a British civil servant and a German official tasked with traveling to Munich for an international conference of nations. But on the brink of World War II, the stakes are high for the European powers, with Hitler's planned takeover of Czechoslovakia in imminent danger. Can negotiations be successfully made, or will the Nazi besiegement come to be? An eloquently stylized espionage thriller, Skowachow draws on the main strength of his core cast to deliver an elevated historical spy picture, exploring and unpacking the art and risk of top-shelf subterfuge. Number 8. The Gift we may be through with this past, but the past still wants to antagonize us to death. Disregarding the loose paraphrasing of the Magnolia quote, writer-director Joel Egerton's 2015 film, The Gift, is all about the re-emergence of long-ago individuals we would rather not be seeing, starring Jason Bateman and Rebecca Hall as married couple Simon and Robin Callum. When the elusive Gordo, Joel Edgerton, a man from Simon's past, begins making appearances to his old pal, a series of seemingly innocent gestures leads to a haphazard unearthing of Simon's troubled relationship with an invasive guest. An expertly crafted thriller film with defiant twists and turns, The Gift is an amazing effort on Edgerton's part and a worthy addition to the genre. Number 7. The Platform the story follows the imprisoned residents of Vertical Self-Management Center, a dystopian vessel that delivers food to its captives by way of an elevator system. In order of randomized hierarchy, those at the top get the most food, while those at the bottom get the scraps. Inevitably, this leads to an uprising of horrific proportions. The platform is a satirical production that grapples with Darwinism in some bizarre and all-consuming ways. One thing is for sure, it's a flick you don't want to miss. Number 6. Spiderhead Spiderhead tears down all the bars, gates, and imprisoning walls of the traditional prison thriller, and it totally flips the subgenre on its head with a bit of sci-fi thrown in for good measure. The film stars Chris Hemsworth as Steve Abnesti, the tech warden savant of the revolutionary new prison, one where inmates are fed mind-altering drugs for the respective sentences as opposed to literal time behind bars. But when two new inmates, Jeff, Miles Teller, and Lizzie, Journey Smollett, enter the facility, they form a unique bond that calls Amesti's experimental practices into question. Based on the George Saunders short story Escape from Spiderhead, the film adaptation aims for a highbrow blending of wit and adrenaline. While it doesn't completely nail either, screen stealing performances from its main ensemble, particularly Hemsworth, are enough to keep us here for the long haul. Number 5. Disappearance at Clifton Hill. As a child, Abby inadvertently witnessed a harrowing deed, a kidnapping carried out in broad daylight. Now an adult, played by Turpus Middleton, Abby returns to her hometown of Niagara Falls, Ontario, after inheriting a family-run motel in the wake of her mother's passing. Upon taking up residence at Clifton Hill Resort, Abby's memories of the childhood kidnapping return full force. She begins reconstructing the crime from her memories, becoming a vigilante detective that follows a trail of loose leads that could reveal what happened to the boy she saw taken away years ago. A grim and stylish thriller with tinges of noir tossed in for good measure. Disappearance at Clifton Hill is an excellent foray into the world of independent genre filmmaking. Number 4. The Gentleman 
Guy Ritchie films are always at their best when the plot involves some kind of dirty dealings amongst two-bit criminals and the fortunes they wish to make off with, such as the case with the director's return to form in 2010's The Gentleman, starring Matthew McConaughey as Mickey Pearson, an American expat who has built his monetary empire through overseas marijuana. When the news breaks that Pearson is seeking to sell off his infamous drug business, the criminal underbelly takes shots at Pearson's legacy through bribery and blackmail, hoping to rock the magnet from his throne. A powerhouse action thriller with blasts of comedy throughout, The Gentleman is your typical Guy Ritchie fare, and we're more than okay with the formula at play. Number 3. Operation Mincemeat Operation Mincemeat stars Colin Firth and Matthew McFadden as Ewing Montague and Charles Cholmondeley, two British World War II intelligence officers who are tasked with protecting resistance troops that are planning an all-out siege of Sicily by July of that year. To do so, both men are inspired by the 1939 Trout Memo to send a corpse filled with misleading information and a false identity onto enemy shores. What follows is an act of wartime deception unlike any other. Based on Ben McIntyre's historical text of the same name, Operation Mincemeat features powerhouse performances from both Firth and McFadden, and a plot full of memorable turns and nail-biting subterfuge. Number 2. Triple Frontier In Triple Frontier, an ensemble of recognizable talents are given the action hero treatment for what amounts to a heist thriller that dares to say more about the genre, and succeeds. Our story follows a team of ex-Special Forces comrades as they band together to steal away the fortune of a South American drug lord. But as the group's collective hubris threatens to deconstruct their mission, their adversaries gain ground, forcing the mercenaries to fight for their lives. Former Special Forces operatives reunite to plan a heist in a sparsely populated military border zone of South America. For the first time in their prestigious careers, these unsung heroes undertake this dangerous mission for themselves instead of the country. But when events take an unexpected turn and threaten to spiral out of control, their skills, their loyalties, and their morals are pushed to a breaking point in an epic battle for survival. Number 1. Lost Bullet A small-time delinquent turned police mechanic for a go-fast task force is forced to defend his innocence when his mentor is killed by dirty cops. Lost Bullet is exactly what the world needs right now, a taut action thriller with adrenaline-fueled everything, cinematography, editing, score, etc. Starring Albin Lenore as Lino, a talented mechanic, Lino is in over his head when charges for a crime he committed in a horrific past life catch up to him. To escape the clutches of the crooked cops that want to put him away, Lino must journey once more into the world of underground ram driving to find his true freedom. Loud, caustic, and a ton of fun, Lost Bullet does both the familiar and daring with the subgenre it lives within. Lost Bullet is a simple yet effective Netflix action movie that thrives on its realistic action scenes and strong performances. With William Perret as its helm, unlike most other action flicks, it keeps its storyline pretty linear and, for the most part, does not offer mindless content. Although its storyline isn't that complex and is only driven by action scenes in the second half, you might still not be able to wrap your head around some of its underlying plot points or its ending. And this brings us to the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for amazing movie reviews coming your way. And thank you for watching.